Hey, Sneakers is back. Yeah, I'm back again. Yeah, back, 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 back. Now, last video, I showed you about slicing software in Linux, okay? And there's actually not much that doesn't work in Linux. There is always a, a package for it, okay? Gen 2 may have been a bit of a problem, but hey, we'll come to that another time, okay? But there's always going to be a bit of a problem with Gen 2 because people just don't port it properly or at all. But generally, okay, you can get most slicing software to work. Okay, so you're thinking, oh, 3D printing is a bit expensive and it's rubbish. Well, both on them, no and no. Okay. So, we'll just show you a few here. <clears throat> now, this is one of my printers. This is the Flash Falls Dream App. I'm not sure if it's on the end of the run now, so they may not make another version of this. I did actually pay 795 for mine two years ago. Okay. And it's still going now, still going strong. It's one of these printers that just likes to keep printing and printing and printing without stopping basically at the end of the day if you stop the printer and leave for a couple of days it takes a good half hour to get it all nice and warm and properly set up so it prints correctly but after that you can just keep going and going and it runs 24 7 basically i'll show you a couple of pictures of it here look it's got a nice little thing here nice little touch screen down the bottom give you all the information you need mm -mm -mm. a good little printer okay it's fully enclosed although on mine if i go back here i've actually printed some stuff up here to go under the lid to get a bit of air in to keep it a bit cooler okay but the build volume is not brilliant okay it's 230 by 150 by 150 that's fine really to be honest with you it's okay yeah it's okay it'll do most things and most things well okay simplify 3d supports it as do most of our slices a good little printer if a bit expensive okay but it's got two extruders, etc. So I paid a bit more money for double extruders. In reality, I could have got away with one, okay? Really, honestly. But hey. Anyway, that's mine, okay? One of the big buzzwords at the moment is this Creality 3D CR10. There's three versions there's the mini, the standard, and the bigger version, okay? Now, this one here, as you can see, is for the US only. Although there is a UK version. It's around about 270 to 300 quid, okay? But lots of people are raving about it, yeah? Ravey, ravey, ravey. As you can see here, the control box is over here. You plug your SD card in with your files on, and off it will print, okay? A nice little printer. It seems, yeah, it seems. Not got one myself. I might try one next year. Well, see how there we go, really. Right, next. Now, most designs are based on this design, really, at the end of the day. This is original Pressure i3 from the Czech Republic. So I'm, yeah, it's the Czech Republic, yeah. Now the Mark III here is the new one, okay, and you're saying, let's click on it and get a picture up for you, that's 900 squid, but this is pre-assembled and tested, so basically it's ready to go, yeah, it's ready to go, I know, okay, so you're saying 900 quid, a bit much, but it does print beautifully, okay, it's a really, really quality machine, mm -mm, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, not sure if I could stretch that though, but hey, so you're all saying, yeah, this is really expensive 3D printing. How can I afford to do that? Well, I will show thee. Now, I kick-started a one ooh, last year. It was called the Hero 101 or 101 Hero 3D printer, and it was 50 quid. When I got it, eventually, from Kickstarter, I opened the package up, took the top off the box, and put it back on, because this was not going to work for me. It was, it was rubbish at the end of the day. So I quickly sold it online for what I paid for it, and I'm happy. And the person who got it, apparently, is very happy. Okay. But say you do want to get into into 3D printing on a small scale, here's one for you. This is the Tronxy X1, okay? Tiny, tiny, tiny little printer. Tiny, 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 tiny. It's only 134 quid. All for UK, okay? If you're in the EU, it's actually a bit cheaper, look. Got the EU. It's only £90 there. Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? But hey, never mind. We'll go back to the UK version and I'll show you what I mean. And we'll see a bit more about the printer. This is from, where are we? This is from Gearbest, by the way. It supports SD card printing, so you just put the file on the card and put it in the machine and off you go. The build volume is 150 by 150 by 150, so it's only a bit smaller than one I got, the Dreamer, you know? It's only a little bit smaller. Yeah, and it's supposed to be out to print most stuff. Hmm, yeah. So that's another way of getting into it cheaply and if you like it you can then say sell that one and get a bigger printer for yourself okay one of my other printers is this i also back this on kickstarter it's an all metal small printer and when i say all metal everything is solid metal it ain't moving for nothing 
and it prints beautifully. And one of the reasons I decided to get this or back it is for flexible filament because my Flash Falls Dreamer don't like doing it very much. Now this prints really, really well. Also, you can't really go wrong with it. Okay, and it's so tiny you can just you can pull it together right in about five ten minutes. Take it away, you know, put it anywhere you want to go. And you can also get a laser engraver for this for engraving. But I didn't get that. I just got the basic printer. And it will basically print anything, okay? Anything. But it's a small build volume again. It's only 120 by 125 by 125. But it'll do most of the stuff you want. Mine's got a heated bed. Yeah, it sure has. And prints beautifully. Now, I got this for around about 200 odd quid. But that, that was a year and a half ago, okay? A year, year and a half ago. So now the prices, if you go back to the trunk seat, they've just come down and come down. But I think 134 quid is about as low as you really want to go for 3D printing at the end of the day. So if you're interested in 3D printing, or 3D printing even, there's a couple of things to look at. You may want to get into it. And the, the uh, price of the spools of filament aren't that expensive. From 12 to 25 pounds for basic stuff. Obviously you can pay more if you want to. Entirely up to you. But give it a go. You may like it. You know, Father Christmas might actually bring you one if you put it on your little letter. I know what I mean. Sneaky Linux out. i see you later. Oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. Oh yay. Bye bye.